voice be louder than the voice of your neighbor somebody speak over your mouth i want somebody to mean business this morning speak with intensity speak with intensity Lebrado Sotoliga, in Jesus precious name I'm thinking your amen will be the loudest amen. one minute lift up your two hands wave it to Jesus thank him for 10 months of 2021 please thank him rigorously thank him for his mercies thank him for his grace thank him for his loving kindness ensure your voice is louder than the voice of your neighbor only the living can praise him 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 give him all the glory give him all the honor Give him all the glory. Praise him. Hey, bro, this is all you are there. Everybody, Master's Place Global, lift up your two hands. I give you 30 seconds. Thank him. It's been 10 months of grace. It's been 10 months of mercies. It's been 10 months of his faithfulness. It's been 10 months of his loving kindness. In Jesus' precious name. I can hear somebody's believing name, man. Eh? Everybody shout with me, thank you, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Well, when I shout November 2021, what will be your answer? Okay, let's try it. November 2021. Louder and louder. Higher and higher. Put your hands together and be seated. Becoming a millionaire before you are 30 and after you are 30. It is possible to be rich and wealthy young. You can be young and be wealthy. You can be young and be wealthy. You can be wealthy while you are young. You can be exponentially rich while you are young. I laid the foundation in the first service, built on it in the second service, and in this third service, we move on higher. Please open with me Lamentations chapter 3, verse 27. Lamentations 3, 27. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. Let's see it from NCV. It is good for someone to work hard while he is young. Now, the principle here is this. Never waste your youthfulness. Invest your youthfulness. Youthfulness is to be invested to become usefulness. Never waste 
your youthfulness. May I say this? Every adult that is broke never invested their youthfulness. If you are an adult and you are broke and you are poor, it was Dr. Miles Moreau who said he was in a particular country and a man 70 years old, maybe 65, 68, 69, but in between 65 to 70, he saw the man on the road begging near a traffic light. And the Holy Spirit said to Dr. Mines, if you will have an opportunity to discuss with this man, why don't you ask him? Don't just give him money. Why don't you ask him what he was doing when he was 30, 35, 40, 50? What was he doing? Your youthfulness, please, is to be invested. Never to be wasted. I think this is where a lot of our youth miss it. They think they have time to waste. They think they have time to waste. I will quickly start in the third service explaining reasons for irreversible poverty. Let me tell you, when somebody has an irreversible poverty, why? Why is it that some people cannot just be rich? Why? How come some people, they have irreversible poverty? Number one, the misconception of education. If there is something responsible for poverty, it is this present system of education. Don't mistake schooling with education. Don't mistake education for learning. Number one, the misconception of education. Thinking that learning ends with graduation, not knowing that learning starts after graduation. Education is not learning. Education can actually interfere with learning. You can be educated and you are not learned. There are a lot of educated illiterate. Today, how many educated people who have school education without personal education knows the three M's of money? How to make money, how to manage money, how to multiply money. An average graduate today knows nothing. Knows nothing. Please, don't mistake education for learning. Don't mistake schooling for learning. Understand that you can go to school and you are illiterate. As a matter of fact, you don't know anything about how to make money. You don't know anything. Is the reason why today we have a generation of our youth into MMM, into love scam, into 419. There is a generation of youth now that they are absolutely into Yahwism. Somebody scream with me, Yahwism. Love scam and all those junks. Now, let me tell you, people, you know what they tell you? Go to school, get a good degree, get a job. Invest into shares. Invest into shares. Okay, conventionally, how do you become a millionaire or billionaire early in life? Conventionally, you can't follow this conventional route. Of go to university, get a job. Most people retire from Shell broke. What are you people telling me? They even die after retirement. Most of them don't live a life of fulfillment after retirement. So please follow what I'm telling you. It is learning you need more than education. Never mistake what I'm telling you. You need learning more than education. 
A lot of people who have education, they don't have learning. They don't have learning. They don't have learning. And that's why you look at it. All the people that taught you in school, from nursery to primary to secondary to university, how many of them are legitimately rich? It is called the paradox of learning. How can somebody who doesn't know how to fly an aeroplane teach you to fly one? Somebody perpetually broke, waiting for salary to be paid. And when salary is paid, half of the salary is already gone. This lecturer has been using this car for 16 years. All his children, he could not even send to good schools. Look at me. Today, professors are broke. Professors. They are broke. Look, education is good, but learning is better. I'm not saying don't have education. Have education, but please go for personal learning. You know what they said of Jesus? How come he knows all these things? In as much as he didn't attend any of our schools, personal learning is superior to organize the learning, structural learning. And now in the 21st century, we have a lot of opportunities. As a matter of fact, a lot of schools now, like Covenant University and some schools, they've even redesigned the curriculum. Most of the things our present day schools are teaching, they are dead curriculums. Not even Lord Lugard is happy in the grave. That you mean the education we left for you people 1914? They are still the things. Irrelevant to life. So therefore, if you don't know, your education is probably the reason for your poverty. Your education conditioned you, positioned you, structured you, organized you. Your education placed you, has placed you at a particular angle never to be rich. Now, tell your neighbor, half education, half education, but go for learning. Amen. Tell another neighbor, half education, half education, but go for learning. Go for learning. Tell another neighbor, half good, good, good education, but go for learning. Education is learning. No. No. Never forget, education is not learning. Education is learning. No. Education is not learning. <laughs> it's not learning. That's why you see somebody <laughs> being a teacher for 35 years and never opened a private school. Never published a book. What are, so what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Number two reason for irreversible poverty. Oh my God. Tell your neighbor, reverse it right now. Reverse it right now. Mm, louder and louder. Reverse it right now. I'm not hearing you. Reverse it right now. For the very last time. Reverse it right now. Hmm. Number two reason for irreversible poverty. Lack of financial mentor. Lack of financial mentor. I want somebody to repeat that with me. Lack of financial mentor. Lack of financial mentor. I look to my right. I have Bishop David Oyedepo. I look to my left. Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo. I look to my front. I can see Pastor David Ibiome, Dr. Mike Mudok. One day, everybody shout it the loudest. One day. One day. Dr. Mike Mudok took me to one of his <laughs> villas in the U.S. Myself, my baby Pastor Esther, and our four boys. 
on a mountain in Dallas, overseeing, overseeing the entire city of Dallas. Overseeing the entire city of Dallas. That building worth over maybe six million US dollars. And he has three jets. Rolls Royce parked. It took me from one room to the other, showing me things. Showing me things. Who is teaching you? I, I don't mean a theoretical victor. I don't mean a theorist. I don't mean a theorist. I look at the life of Bishop David Oedipo. I look at the life of Pastor Matthew Washimolo. <laughs> Pastor Matthew, when he comes during up search, maybe you will share some of those things from a wealth master class. He said, he said, my son, I said, dad, he said, well, I just sold a property during the pandemic. Pastor Matthew sold one of his properties, I think, not too expensive, but about 3.2 billion came in. He told me, he, he said, KK, I said, sir, he said, the truth is, <laughs> there is no pandemic anywhere. No, no. In the midst of the pandemic, such amount came in. I'm not following people that are into scams. People that are, you know, swindling people. People that are into MMM. People that are into gambling. I mean people that started from this crash. And they built it with the wisdom of God and the grace of God. Show me your mentor and I will show you you are out of tormentors. Your financial mentor will terminate the end of financial tormentors over your life. Your financial mentors. Your financial mentors. And <laughs> let me make it clear. If nakedness promise you clothes, won't you open your eyes? Nakedness promise you clothes. You need to shine your eyes. If somebody is extremely fat, you, let me tell you something. You are 85 kg weight. Your weight is 85 kg. And you want to slim down to 60. You are now looking around for who can help you. You are 85. Only for you to get to a place where you are told that there is a good instructor here that will help you. Only for you to enter the place and then you paid the money, you registered for the training and for your instructor to come out. You are <laughs> 85. Your instructor is 196. <laughs> it's like triple of you. And your instructor starts by telling you if, you, if you drink this tea twice a day, and you eat this and you eat this, you will slim down. And you look at his life. <laughs> Everybody hear me. You are making a fool of yourself, being taught by people that don't have money. If somebody doesn't have money, understand that he can never tell you how to get money. By the law of practicality, how? How will he? Look at yesterday that we went to Dreamland Phase 1 and then <coughs> 90 days reloaded. We concluded it yesterday, covenant of 90 days. I put it together. I gave 132 million. I'm not on salary. I took my last salary even while I was still in winners. December 2003, from January 2004 to date, I'm not on salary. I stand before you this morning globally. I'm not taking salary from master's place. And I'm still one of the highest giver here. Our building project in how many weeks? I have not added the one of my baby, first lady, and my four boys. I gave 132 million naira from my pocket directly. And I'm not taking any salary from this church. So I'm not a theorist. I'm not yet there, but I'm going somewhere. So I know what I'm telling you. So please listen to me. 
The number one is the misconception of education. The number two is lack of financial mentors. Lack of financial mentors. Quickly now, the court teaching for the third and the fourth service, the shortcut to wealth. How do you make money quick and you are not swindling? You are not into MMM. Don't forget what I said. Like gambling, only the company wins. All those MMM things, you don't even know. Sir, you, if you have ever you lost money to all those MMM, it's, it's your fault. That means you don't understand how capitalism even operates. Shortcut to wealth. And I want everybody to follow me intensely. Somebody shout with me, shortcut to wealth. Louder and louder. Louder and louder. Okay, now for the very last time. If the slide is ready, they can show the slide from here. Shortcut to wealth. Number one, earn income through your business and investment. Shortcut to wealth. Number one, shortcut to wealth. Earn income through business and investment. The shortest cut to wealth. Earn income through business and investment. Very, very important. If the slide is ready, they can show it now. Number one, shortcut to wealth. Earn income through your business and investment. There is no alternative to this. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to break this thing down. And please follow me, sir. Even while I was still in winners, I stopped taking salary. As my salary comes, I saw it. I happen to be the only pastor in winners that never ever would we say I was under employment. I will declare Bishop Wedepo is Elijah and Miss Elisha. If you are working with me here in Master's Place and you have employment mentality, welcome to the world of lack. If you don't see that Master's Place is your business, it's your investment. Hmm. Look at Bishop David Abioye, past, <laughs> number two in winners. How many founders can command what he commands? I will always say when I was in winners, I am a partaker with the undertaker. I am a partaker with the undertaker. I am a partaker with the undertaker. Most times when I'm leaving office, going home in winners, my daily income is not less than $1,000. There is no day I get less than $1,000. Less than $1,000. Jesus said, I must go about my father's business. May I ask you this morning, what do you do that is your business? And then do you have investments? But I will break it down till fourth service. I will break it down till fourth service. Quickly, shortcut to wealth. Number two. Solve hard, difficult, and rewarding problems. Shortcut to wealth. Number two. You must solve hard, difficult, and rewarding problems always. Killing a mosquito and killing a Goliath, they are not the same thing. And they don't generate the same reward. Hmm. You must, as I'm talking to you now, church, globally listening to me, I can't be broke. I can't. I was trying to say some of those things in the second service. There are places I speak now for 45 minutes, they give me 5 million naira. There are places I speak now for two sessions. They give me 12 million, 13 million, 15 million. Somebody once sent 35 million to me and said, you have been a blessing to me. You helped me to solve a major problem of my life. Every day I solve problem. Healing school is coming on Friday. I'm solving problem. I'm speaking to you now. I'm, I'm solving problems. One of our members here 
one of my precious sons, went for a major shell training for executives in Lagos, in Ogere Training Center there or somewhere. And he told me, he said, the first session, even the, the, the instructor, the lecturer was surprised and asked me, asked him and said, how come you know these things? And he said, my church taught me. My pastor taught me. My pastor taught me. You must solve problems always. You mu it's a must. You must solve problems aggressively. Stop looking for free money everywhere. Stop looking for free money everywhere. Right from as you are young now, cultivate the habit and the nature of being a problem solver. Number three, Shortcut to wealth. Create assets. Create assets. <laughs> Create assets. Create value. Give birth to assets and make them valuable to the marketplace. Please create assets. Give birth to assets and make them valuable to the marketplace. I repeat, create assets. Today, my monthly income is not for public consumption. No bank can pay me. No organization can pay me this. I mean no organization can pay me this. No organization can pay me this. If you are given lemon, make lemonade from it. If you are given orange, make orange juice from it. Listen, everybody, what are you adding value to to increase the asset value of it in the marketplace? Master's place is constantly increasing in value. Master's place of five years ago is no longer the master's place of today. Master's place of this <laughs> 2021 will not be the master's place of 2022. So the glory of God, we keep increasing in value. Create value. Add value. Please, create assets. What are you adding value to? What are you adding value to? Money is not difficult. It's people that are difficult. Because they refuse to change. <laughs> they refuse to change. Now, let me say this to you, church. Nothing dies in my hand. Nothing, sir. I, I ensure that nothing dies in my hand. If you put me in charge of this piano, it won't lose color. The list is, you will meet it the way the manufacturer made it. I will go extra mile to ensure that I make it valuable and it... It remains an asset of worth. It remains, even eternally, an asset of worth. Lebron de Shia Agatoli Shia. Libro Tia de Case. I normally tell my precious people that we work together. No mentor has corrected me on anything twice. When I was living with us, my dad, Bishop Edepo, held my hand and said, KK. You came in here, 96. This is 2008 you are living. And I bless you from the depth of my heart. You did not let me down once. Every assignment put into your hand worked. I will never pastor a church that is not growing. I will never take over a church. And in seven days, the noise will not be everywhere. That a pastor has come to town. A pastor has come to town. I create value. I had value. I got to Botswana. Attendance of the church was about 200. I left that church over 3,000. I got to Botswana. Income of the church was $4,000, $5,000 monthly. I left the income of the church, I mean 2007, around 100,000 US dollars that time. I left, I got to Botswana. We were in a rented apartment. We bought a property of almost a million dollars. 
in the center of the city. When Bishop Oedepo got there, he was almost in tears. How did we get this land? Please don't clap. What are you adding assets to? Are you a minus or a plus? They put you in a place, everything is reducing. Customers are dwindling. Nothing is working and you are, you are, you are looking. This is how people get broke for life. You need to cultivate this nature. That the only thing about your life, anywhere you are, you had value. Look at your neighbor and just tell your neighbor, add value. Okay, now say it the loudest. I'm thinking you will say it the highest. Quickly, shortcut to wealth. Upgrade. Upgrade. That is, take existing assets and add value to them quickly. Please. If you can create assets, take existing assets and please add value to them. Add value to them. You see, if you don't value these things, I'm telling you, that's why multitude are poor. Beloved, and I tell you the reason is this. Multitude are perpetually poor. Even as a church, we've increased the value of this property. If you know how many people now, while we are building our place globally, now know this synergy center globally. How many ACs here we have changed using our money to the glory of God? We are the one that did the pardon. Do you know to the glory of God, the past two years, we are the one repenting everywhere. We are the one repenting everywhere. I repeat, please add value. Upgrade. Upgrade things. Upgrade things. Hmm. Once you upgrade, you upgrade. Unfortunately, <laughs> a lot of uh, believers, they think that money will just be coming in like that. Money doesn't just come like that. This, these are dynamics of how money comes in. Quickly, shortcut to world. Grow money trees. Grow money trees. Somebody shout with me, grow money trees. Grow money trees. I'm thinking you will scream it authoritatively. Grow money trees. What is that? Develop passive income. Income that does not require your presence. You don't need to be there to work. Passive income. You are sleeping, money is coming in. You are now in church, money is coming in. You must grow money trees. That is to say, passive income everywhere. To the glory of God, I can't imagine a day or a week I don't get passive income. Even though I walk absolutely in the covenant, which is what I'm going to end with very soon now. As I'm talking to you now, somebody is downloading one of my messages. Somebody is buying one of my books online. As I'm talking to you now, this message will still be selling 15 years to come. I will invest time to preach it once. It will be generating money forever. What do you have that will bring in money for you that does not require your physical presence? Always. Always. Passive income. If it requires your presence, it's still not passive. It's still not passive. And you need to grow this multi dimensions of <laughs> money trees. Well, receive that grace this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not hearing your believing. Amen. amen. Mm, louder and louder, I believe in Amen. amen. I'm moving forward. Forward. Get rich quick is a process. I don't mean MMM. 
I don't mean all those scam and, uh, you know, all those uh, Yahoo and all those stuff. But please, th this way I'm telling you, if you engage in it, you will be richer, faster, and quicker than all those MMM stuff. You will be. There are three things that will help you to get rich quick in this process. One, create solutions. Two, create products. Three, create services. Create solutions, create products, create services that we add value and people will pay for. I repeat, to get rich quick, create solutions, create products, create services. Look at me, church. If you know how many things we lack in South South, for example, will anybody solve security problem and will not make money in this present world? How? How? If that is your passion, create products, create services, add value that people will pay for. Abro and their Shatalia Dakara. Well, is the reason I can say anywhere I can be broke. Create solutions. I daily create solutions to the glory of his name. I daily create solutions. In Brodo, share this. A bracata. Quickly, somebody lift up your right hand. Repeat after me now. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Louder and louder. In the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am, I am empowered a creator of wealth. Say it again. I am empowered, I am empowered. A, creator a creator of wealth. Let's continue. You need a business system to get rich quick. You need a business system. Now, and I want everybody to hear me. If you want to be rich quick, and fast before you are 30 or after you are 30 be a producer first it's a must listen because this is the technical side of this teaching join this minority group of millionaires producers they are in the minority and they are the richest. Soetiro under the car called under today. Soetiro under was a roadside mechanic. Soetiro under was a roadside mechanic. He had that thought to walk. And today, Honda <laughs> is a car named after him. Mercedes Benz. Is somebody's daughter's name named after what they produce? Even if you don't have a product, you can produce services. It is important you produce. Listen carefully 98% to 97% of people on earth are poor because 97% of people on earth are consumers. They consume, they consume, they consume, they consume. Look at me. Wherever the name Master's Place is mentioned, globally, so shall the name Komaya. Mention Christ Embassy, or Yakilome's name shall be mentioned. Mention Microsoft, biggest name shall be mentioned. Mention Salvation, Pastor Ibiyome's name shall be mentioned. When your name is mentioned... Why are you silent? <laughs> what product will be mentioned? What service will be mentioned? That you are the creator or the co-creator? That will make life faster and better for people and they will pay for? There is no mysticism about money. There is no mysticism about it. 
There is no mysticism about money. Le brondo shia agato libre keti adish. Le andro pri atikati adakaras. Everybody note this. Develop a producer mindset. Please, develop a producer mindset. You want to be rich quick? Develop a producer mindset. Quickly, to be rich. See, and I mean see and see things from the producer's perspective. See things from the producer's perspective. There is a way producers see things. I can never reason the way the crowd reasons. I can't look whatever about 97% of Nigerians are saying in terms of reasoning and perspective. I will never be in that. Never. And that's why I can't be broke. I can never be poor. I can never be broke. Within our first three years, when Dr. <laughs> Mensah Otabi first came here, we were just three years. Dr. Otabi asked me, he said, KK, how old is this church? I said, sir, he's three years old. He said, I'm sorry. You are the founder. You are the one God used to establish this church, and you forgot the age of the church. I said, sir, we are three years. He said, it's not possible. The quality on ground is more than 15 years. He said, the quality on ground, a child of three years. There is a way producers see things, and there is a way consumers see things. There is a way consumers handle things. I have given you the greatest opportunity if I have given you a problem to solve. If I have given you an issue to handle, I have shown you the greatest love of life. Anyone that trusts you with a problem to solve has given you the greatest money on earth. But people waste those things. Do you metamorphose things? Do you add value to things? Listen, millionaires and billionaires are in the minority. On this earth today, about 3% of humanity are producers. And they are getting their money from this 97% of consumers. No good hotel in worry here. No good hotel really. Show me one good hotel. Not only that. Not only that. One day, Dr. Mike Mudok came here and told me, he said, KK, I said, Dad, can you get a barber to cut my hair? I said, please, I'll cut it when you get to U.S. <laughs> cut it, sir, when you get to U.S. Because maybe the barber may not understand that your hairstyle and the way you is is different from our own, so that we just take clipper and just shave you the way they will shave me. We just laughed over it. I said, Dad, please, when you get to the U.S., I had two visitors from U.S. one day, and I was I asked our people, which restaurant can we go to to eat in town? That's why you don't see me everywhere because a lot of places in the town they don't meet my standard. It's not that I don't want my children to school here. But please give me a school that my standard <laughs> will appreciate. Give me a school that my standard. Education is like that. Even laundry is like that. Because people don't see things from a producer's perspective. Reason like a producer. Work like a producer. Think like a producer. Plan like a producer. Speak like a producer. Wealth is on the way. Hey, a consumer's mindset is dangerous. A consumer's perspective is deadly. A producer, you always metamorphose. You always metamorphose. You always. You always metamorphose. Let me quickly, because we are out of time, and then I continue in the fourth service. 
Hey, quickly, make consumers seek for you and yours. Everybody, this is a must. Do things that will make consumers to look for you. I repeat, engage in investment, business, whatever you do. Make consumers look for you. It's a must. It's a must. Do you know something? Do you know how many calls I get daily? People that need prayers, people that need this, people that need that, people that want counseling, people that, yes. If I am not a producer, they won't look for me like that. If I'm not a consumer, uh, if I'm not a producer, rather, they won't look for me like that. I, I reason differently. I think differently. I work differently. There is no iota of complacency in me. I can sleep 1 a.m. and wake up 3 a.m. Work like a producer. Work like a producer. Le Brodosia Abra Andia Sotolia Dakaras. Make consumers look for you. Before you know it, wealth is on the way. Quickly, make consumers pay you. <laughs> make consumers pay you. If you get what I'm telling you, forget it. You'll be rich. Look at me, everybody. I need to close soon. What are you doing that consumers are paying for a mass? What are you doing that consumers are paying for? What are you doing? Agreed us here, I got a cash. Mimbro at the other case. Now, now look at us in worry here. This is headquarters. We have 10 other locations in town. 2022, we are opening more. We are on Masters TV. We have other campuses also <laughs> operating. Imagine the level Baba Deboye is redeemed after 60 years. Imagine the level Bishop Oedepo is after 40 years. Look at the spread. Look at the spread. Look at me. What solution do you have to offer our generation? Start from your vicinity. What product can you offer? What solution can you offer? That consumers will pay for. That consumers will pay for. I don't pick unregistered number. Nothing will make me to pick an unregistered number. I don't pick unregistered number because the problem will be too much for me. Every time they are calling, they are calling. Once I don't have your number, I can't pick you. Hmm. And this person in Shell there has been calling. You know how to get somebody to call me so that, and what is he calling for? To schedule an appointment to come and give me money. Listen to me. You are in trouble if consumers don't look for you. You are in serious trouble. So there is something wrong about your strategy. There is something wrong about your strategy. <laughs> something really wrong about your strategy. If I take invitations, I will only be in master's place once a month. If I take all the invitations, listen to me. I have refused and rejected over 93 to 94 invitations January till now. So that I am at base ministering to the people I am sent to. Look at it. There are places now I go to speak. Two sessions. They give me 12 million naira. 15 million naira. There are places I go to speak 30 minutes. They give me 5 million naira. We were coming from Ghana. They begged me for Sunday. And I know the meaning of that. I know what they will give me. But I know my focus. I know my work. I know my assignment. I am not moving in the direction of money. I am sent to raise billionaires and millionaires. Nobody can deliver my mandate like me. That's why you see a lot of some pastors in the name of preaching the kingdom of God. It's not a kingdom, it's money. Running around, taking the uh, uh, Torah Kobo CC equine from here. Take, uh, take something from here. Take something from here. 
I see billionaires rising up from among you. Do you know the meaning of 250,000 US dollars? A, a, a church once told me, if you give us Sunday, sir, they know my delivery. One of the pastors said, hey, forget about it. If you give us a Sunday, because Sunday is our greatest crowd. If you can give us Sunday, we promise you $250,000. I said, I'm sorry, I can't make it. I can never, because of the money you will give me, leave my assignment. I can't. I can never. I can never. Now, it is because I paid attention to my work that made you to call me. So let me face my work. Let me raise more millionaires and billionaires. I said one day, Baba Deboye said, I have not eaten cow meat in a while. A redeemed member went out and ran, said, my father has not eaten cow meat. Uh -uh, there must be more than enough for him to eat for the rest of the year. And came back with 23,000 cows to sow for Baba Deboye. Look, I will show you later to close in maybe fourth service. You better develop value. Sir, cultivate value, sir. Become rare. Be so useful, yes, that you attract money in your direction. Quickly, be a strategic marketer as a producer. Be a strategic marketer. Tell your neighbor, be a strategic marketer. Oh my God, louder and louder. Now hear me. Selling is a must. You must be able to sell vision. You must be able to sell thoughts. You must be able to sell plans. You must be able to sell products. You must be able to sell services. Now I was assisting in Winners Chapel, Abel Kuta, 1998. 1998, I was assistant pastor, Winners Chapel, Abel Kuta, and then Guarantee Trust Bank also just came to Abel Kuta then. Then they, they saw Winners Chapel, and then they came to the office, and they were designated to see me. And then they came to the office and saw me and marketed to me that they want to, us to open an account with them. And I was the pastor in charge of Bible school. And the following week, our Bible school will start. And I corner us, <laughs> our opening an account with them. I link it with them coming to Bible school. That if they come, we will open. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not conny conny. Many of you are not smart. Sir, they are, you are not smart. You are in this church like this. Nobody knows what you are doing. Nobody knows anything. Your marketing skills are zero. When I, they look, they came to me and they marketed their product. When I finished marketing, when they were to go, one of them said, can we see the senior pastor, please? I said, for what? He said, we need to beg him. Our marketing department in the bank, can they borrow you? Can they give you to us for three months? One of them looked at me and said, sir, you are a good marketer, sir. Life is marketing. Be your sales rep, number one. If you can't sell you, who else will sell you? The, you are a brand. You are a product. I don't mean exaggeration and lies. I don't mean it. There are a lot of you, you have missed opportunities. You have missed, okay, Let's say you are even in a public transport and somebody relatively better than you, you sat together like this in the Agof Ray, in the transport. Then you exchange pleasantries. Oh, how are you? How are you? What do you do? So he asked you, what, what do you do? You first breathe down. <sighs> hmm. Uh -uh, young man, what do you do? <sighs> mm. Even 
your comportment. The French will call it your comportment, your packaging, your approach. You have betrayed yourself. You have just closed a million dollar opportunity. Because it takes somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Many of us, we are broke because we market nothing. May I ask you, what are you marketing now? What are you selling? Online? Actual in talking to people? I flew from Amsterdam to Lagos. Six hours or so. A white guy sat beside me in the business class. One of the directors of one of this oil company. Wahala sat down. You began to discuss with Wahala. I sat down. Jaja wanting to rest. He now asked me, what do you do? I said, I'm a pastor. So oh, all these pastors buying jets. I said, I'll sleep. You go away. I need to finish this guy today. When I finished with him, he said, anytime I'm in worry, I will come to your church. He said, you have sense. Mm -mm. We don't get sense. Do you think we are joking? Without a producer's mindset and ability, you have no place in the millionaire's world. Now, let me help you. Please come. Can I have Mike very fast? Now, everybody listening to me, I will ask him some questions now. He will answer me. Now, everybody hear me. How do you become a millionaire very quick and very fast? In the conventional world. Now, the conventional world of go to school, uh, get a certificate, invest, <clears throat> invest into stores, all those things cannot work. The second way conventionally to become a millionaire quick is to be, number one, a sports star. Quickly, you develop your gift, you go into, you know, uh, star. You become a sports star. Are you a sports star? No, sir. Why? <laughs> so, you see, he is not a sports star. So, he can be a millionaire following that route. Number two, are you a celebrity? No, sir. So, you are not a sports star. You are not a celebrity. But you can still be a millionaire. That's what I'm teaching. You don't need to be a sports star. You don't even need to be a celebrity. You don't need to. Uh, but you can still be a celebrity millionaire, but you are not a noisy one. Oh. What I'm teaching you, thank you. What I'm teaching you is this. What have you produced? What are you marketing? What are you selling on a daily basis? Well, we are out of time, but let me cover this more. Quickly. Hmm. Be a producer. Offer the world value. Give birth to solution. Everybody note it. Offer the world value. Be a producer. Offer the world value. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. Abrondo shia a katholi breketia dikas. Let me conclude on this. Give birth to a solution. Understand that consumers are the majority and they are very poor. Consumers are the majority and they are very, listen, they are very, very poor. They are very, very poor. This message now, you will be amazed how far it will go. There are short video clips from here. I even have online over 3 million views. All kinds. What are you producing? What are you marketing? What are you promoting to the world? I came to worry 10 years plus ago with 25,000 Naira and a Toyota Sienna. I gave the Toyota Sienna. Bring out anybody in worry with 25,000 Naira years ago. Just 10 years ago. Bring out how many people in worry also. They have 25,000 Naira. And let's see what we have been able to produce. Let's see what we have been able to produce. It's this mindset that you need. I have less than 3-4 minutes because of time. 
In conclusion, part three, understand that prosperity is spiritual. Wealth is spiritual. Never forget the God factor. Never ever. The economy of God is built on giving and receiving. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived. God can't be mocked. Whatever a man soweth, the same is he will reap. In this kingdom, hear me everybody. Work the hardest. Follow everything I've said now. If you don't get the spiritual side right, you can never prosper. There are more to it than the eyes can see. Any millionaire or billionaire you read their book, don't believe them until they share their spiritual secret. Money has a spiritual side to it and a physical side to it. There is a dimension. Except you are backed by God, you can't get there. And what is this <laughs> covenant? Deuteronomy 8.18, 8, it is the Lord thy God that giveth thee power to get wealth. So that he will establish the covenant. What is the covenant? Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. As the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. It starts with the giving of tithe. Malachi chapter 3, 8 to 12. Any Christian, not tithe things will be tithe. You know the reason why this church can lack? It's a tithing church. I title and I don't lack. Titan will bring you into the realms of innovative ideas. Titan will rebuke devourers for your sake. Sir, there are some people that follow what I just shared now, but nothing is working. Because they are not good givers. A believer is to give dedicatedly, committedly, tirelessly, and sacrificially with joy. You give your tithe, then he said, you have robbed me in tithe and offering. You move into offerings. You must not appear before him empty. Then from there, you move into sacrifices. Like sowing into our building project, Dreamland. Look at all the testimonies. I said, I've given in how many weeks? 132 million naira. I love God with the whole of my heart. Last month, payment for TV. I told church, don't bother. Church is spending so much. My family paid 4 point something million naira. My family paid. I told God, I said, I want to pay for a year. And then I'm still helping the poor. I'm still sowing to the life of the needy. I'm still helping the poor. I'm still sowing to the life of the needy. We are moving now into gradually roofing the main auditorium and the other two sides are going to the fourth, fourth, fourth floor. And then we are going now into M&E. The purchase of four lifts. And you know the meaning of that. It is those who love God who sacrifice. Sacrifice release power. You can't prosper. Nobody can prosper without sacrifice. It is impossible. Le Brodo si e katolia bri shia da karos. Libro andi satalia dish. The power to prosper is in your giving. Close with me. Mark 12, 17. And then we close. Mark 12, 17. Everybody, let's read it. Read it with me together. Let's go. One, two, go. Then Jesus said to them, Give to Caesar, yes. Mm -hmm. The men are amazed at what Jesus... You give to God what belongs to God. You give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. In conclusion, if you mix what belongs to God with your own, if something belongs to God and you add it to your own, you poison your own. Rise up on your feet. Tell your neighbor, never poison your own. Tell another neighbor, I will never poison my own. I'm sure God has spoken something to somebody again. I pray that this grace abide with you the rest of your life. One minute, lift up your two hands and receive grace as we close right now.
I'm thinking somebody will speak out authoritatively and pray quickly. I'm thinking you will rise up and receive grace. You will rise up and receive grace. I'm thinking you will rise up and receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will rise up and receive grace. I'm thinking inside or outside. Everybody, stretch forth your two hands in my direction. We are out of time. We need to close so that we go into the fourth service. Everybody, stretch forth your two hands globally. Receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The bro and their sotolia brakashas. Leandro C. A precate. Wealth is a journey. If you start the journey early, you will arrive early. If you give to God what belongs to God, listen, hey, I know the favor of God upon my life. Time will not permit me to share some testimonies. There are dimensions. Only God can help you to get there. There are contracts. There are sales. If there is no adequate spiritual power, no matter your packaging, you can break through. Stretch forth your two hands. Receive a heart to promote God's kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Enter into partnership. Listen, there must be a pastor and a ministry you partner with. Look at me. You can't sponsor God. There must be a church and a pastor that it is because of the money you are dropping there that they are, be, they are able to run God's program. Any Christian that there is no church and there is no ministry and there is no pastor. That it is because of the money you are dropping and the seed you are sowing. They are able to do what God said they should do. Even though you don't have entitlement mentality of someone sponsoring God. Without such available, you can never prosper. You can never prosper. All the money needed to sponsor the work of God on earth... God will not open the heaven and drop it. But this is how it works. In as much as you, you, you will have 10 million and give God what belongs to God, it will be shining it to you. What stops God from giving you 5 billion? Because he knows that at least 1.5 will come to him. So that is, and, the, and that of your own free will, you can now still give God another 2 billion. You can now give him 5 billion, then he gives you 50 billion. Then he gives you 100 billion. Then he gives you like that, like that. He gives you like that, like that. Any Christian that fails giving test can prosper. Only giving proves that you have overcome greed. And that you are not serving money. There are some of you. <laughs> you can't pay a tithe of 1 million. You can't pay a tithe of 5 million. You can't pay a tithe of 10 million. There are services here. My, my, my. Offering is 10 million. My offering is 9 million. Most times, most Sunday here, I drop 10 million. I drop 10 million as a seed. Sometimes I weep. I will tell God. I was thinking it will be far. Everybody look at me. May God forgive me. It's not every prayer we pray, God should answer. There was a time, 2010, 2011, the income of this church was 700,000 naira. I told God, I said, the day the income of this church reached 5 million, kill me. <laughs> Sir, 5 million was so was too much for me. I said, God, ha. Huh. Later I came back, I said, God, please don't answer that prayer I prayed that day. <laughs> don't answer it, oh. Please, oh. I was joking. You know when you are poor, little money is money. And when you are when you are very poor, you know when you are extremely poor, no money. I I am committed. I practice the covenant. I'm still practicing the covenant, sir. My heart loves God. There is no sacrifice in this church. Myself and my family we don't take the lead. Anything I touch prospers. If I join your company today, it will work against all odds. We will be beating down competitors. Number one, I'm a giver. Number two, I generate spiritual power by sacrifice. Number three, I sow to my hope line. They speak into my life. I hardly use any car for two years. I don't trade it in. I sow it. In my little life, I've given two S550. Yes. 
my, my father's birthday, Bishop Oedipo, this September 27th, and uh, the S class he drove that morning is the one I gave him. Is the one I gave him. We, we got to Papa Biome's compound some weeks ago for his birthday. I still saw the S class I saw there. I am a man given to sacrifice. Road, no fit close against me. Sir, it is all the witches in this town can't do me anything. They know, say, I'll be their husband. If I fish, if I say die, you die for nothing. What are you telling me? You lack sacrifice, you lack power. There are products. How can your product go global without power? You need power. And then strategies, wisdom, organization. Any founder, any producer that can sacrifice your, your, <laughs> what you have produced become the sacrifice. Sacrifice is a must. Is it that you sacrifice or you are sacrificed? Something must be sacrificed. Nobody gets to the top on earth without sacrifice. If you can't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. Sacrifice is a must. I it is now I salute Bishop Wedepo and the Oya Kilomers of this world. It is now I, I salute Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Can you be a producer? Their number one quality is that they sacrifice. I can't build a personal house. Building a house of 100 million in this town in three months is no longer part of my business, but it's part of my sacrifice. I will never build my personal house until church is built. I will never. Are you sacrificing for your work? Are you investing into the work? Are you giving it all it takes? Then look at me. Look at upsurge coming now. Look at the motivated relationships I'm blessed with. Dr. Tabil said to us in Ghana, my sons were there. Dr. Tabil said, you are the only one on earth that can take me to worry. Only you, KK, can bring me to worry on this earth. He said, I can never go to worry for anybody. He said, but for you, I will go. There is a sacrifice you give. Help us of destiny. Relevant relationship will gravitate towards you. All those things are necessary for business. Now stretch forth your two hands. We are out of time. Now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, as we close in third service and go for forth, I decree over you, I command the mantle for wealth creation. Amen. Now receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blessing of the Lord rests upon you. Never ever forget this. Very, very important, please. Don't ever forget this. It's very important. Tomorrow is the first time we are doing prophetic entrance into the month. And it's going to be by 6.30 a.m. in the morning to 7.30 a.m. You, you will be released like a guided missile. Somebody shout with me like a guided missile. Louder and louder, please. Okay, now for the very last time, it's very, very important. Don't miss it. All satellite churches in town will come to the headquarters. Only campuses will connect with us online. November will be your best month ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Very, very important. Friday is healing school. Don't miss it for anything. Tomorrow also we are starting our three days of fasting and prayer. Back to back intercession. Immediately, we are through 7.30 a.m. for the prophetic entrance. By 8 a.m., back-to-back intercession will start till 4 p.m. Wednesday. And that Wednesday, we will be taking communion to end the year well. Communion to end the year well for November. It will be communion service for November. And then, power to end the year well is coming on Sunday. Don't miss it for any reason. We are not going to take brief. As I've given the all, all the announcements. You can just say whatever is remaining now. Please be seated. God bless you. Oh, one minute. Please, please, please. Everybody rise up. Rise up. I'm part of the service. Rise up on your feet. One minute. All head bowed. All eyes closed. You are in the service. You are worshiping with us for the first time. Please. It's a special service, and sorry for the time lapse, is the most important part of this service. You know you are, you are coming with, you, worshiping with us here for the first time. Today is your first Sunday here. 
of worshiping with us at the master's place. Rise up on your feet. Place your right hand on your chest. Today, Sunday is your first time here. Place your right hand on your chest. God bless you. Secondly, you know you are not born again. You are not baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Join them. Place your right hand on your chest. Everyone that is not born again. Everyone worshiping with us for the first time. Everyone that you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, you don't speak in tongues. Everyone that you backslid, you know there is serious sin in your life. Except a man is born again, he can partake of the mysteries of the kingdom. Please rise up on your feet. Place your right hand on your chest. Everyone whose right hand is on their chest, quickly pray this prayer after me. Say it out loud. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I can't hear you. Lord Jesus. I accept you into my heart, into my heart. As, my as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. For, saving for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray for you. Everyone that prayed that prayer, lift up your right hand above your head. I want to pray specially for you. God bless you. Lift up your right hand above your head. Let me pray specially for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray their sins be forgiven. Their names be written in the book of life. I break the power of sin and Satan over them. In Jesus' name. Our minister will take, will take the offering now. Call the first timers and then we'll go into the fourth service. Welcome to the Bilonia's Club. Shall we go ahead and bless the name of Let your voice be louder than the voice.